everybody. Kevin Rott with Overdrive Outdoors here today. Uh, we're going to be doing a quick review of the Revolt e collar by Lucky Duck. This one was purchased directly from Verminator Predator Calls. Uh, you can look up their website uh, www.verminatorpc.com or get a hold of Rick Pallet. Uh, he'll be able to hook you up. Uh, this call retails for $2.99 at the Verminator website. This is the middle one. Um, the, the original call that they have is called the Revolution and it has it includes a um, video camera on the call to capture uh, video obviously of whatever's coming into the call. Um, this model they replaced the camera with a tweeter speaker. Um, included with this order that I received from them is one of Rick Pallet's calls. Um, kind of a nice looking small call, very compact. This is a um, one of his Tweety calls. So, ought to be a nice addition to the call collection. Also included was a sticker from Verminator Predator Calls. And this is a fence post adapter to mount the call onto a fence post. As you can see, it says right on it, Verminator. It's hollow on the bottom with a stud on top. So that way you can actually mount the call right on top of a fence post. So now let's break into it and see what we got. So taking it out of the box, we have the instruction manual here. Pretty basic. I kind of like that. Um, I'm glad it comes with a printed instruction manual. So that was included. Looks like it's well packaged. I like to see that as well. So inside the package we have the legs and base. Uh, these feel nice and sturdy. Uh, looks like it's all metal, which I like to see as well. Here's the collar itself. And the remote. Okay, so I have the unit all unpacked now and assembled. You can see the base goes in the bottom here. It's held in place with a magnet. It has a post in there with a slot that connects to the motor. The remote, or I'm sorry, the decoy sits right up on top. It's stored in the carry handle, which I think is a pretty good feature. Again, this is held in place with a magnet. If you look right there, you can see there's a stud on there that lines it up with the motor inside there. Um, when you're not using it, there is a um, weatherproof cap, or not weatherproof, but a rubber cap that covers that hole on there. And the decoy itself just slides into the carry handle, which is pretty nice. Um, <clears throat> the remote, nice and small. Um, just about, you know, good size for my hand anyway. When you turn it on, the screen is nice and clear. Um, it's a little bit more, I'd say it's maybe a little bit slightly more cluttered than my um, Fox Pro remote. Uh, nice thing about the remote, the buttons are pretty positive. There's a little bit of a click to them. Um, I don't think it's going to be a big deal though. <clears throat> um, you can scroll through categories, different sounds in each category. You can mute, you can recall, you can control your volume obviously. You control the rotation of the collar from the decoy or from the remote. And you can also turn your decoy on and off via the remote, which I think those are all really great features. So before I actually start showing you some of these features, Here's just a little bit of info. Here's a size comparison. That's my Fox Pro Fusion compared to the Lucky Duck. Um, so as you can see, <coughs> lengthwise, it's a little bit longer. Uh, collar itself, you know, there's a size comparison to give you an idea of what it is compared to the Fox Pro Fusion in terms of size. The carry handle is a nice feature. Um, 
I like the stand that's integrated and built into it. And then you can also put the uh, fence post adapter on there. So now, <clears throat> here's a little bit of operation. Pretty simple here. Turn your power switch on. Got a red light indicating that it's on. Turn your remote on. <clears throat> and obviously, as I showed you before, the remote is on. The remote does have several different settings, and I'll show you those real quick. You can actually change the settings similar to, uh, like the Fox Pro, different lighting settings. Uh, right now it's on day, I believe. And if you hold this button in, that is day mode. So I was wrong. <clears throat> this here, that is dusk. And that is a nighttime setting. So I actually really like that feature. Um, I use those settings quite often on my Fox Pro. Um, just makes it easier on your eyes, easier to see, and you're not getting backlit as much, especially the nighttime um, setting on there. So anyway, the call is on. Um, first I'll show you the decoy. You can turn the decoy on and off. And you see the dis this decoy alternates directions of rotation. You can also control the decoy speed. Right now that's speed 2. There's speed 3. And then I'll go back to 1. There's speed 1. So <clears throat> I like the decoy feature. I think that'll be nice. I like being able to control it from the remote. The next feature that I have for this, or they have for this, I should say, is something that I actually was really intrigued about. I think it's a good feature, um, and that is actually having the call rotate. So here's a rotation. This is just going to be a counterclockwise rotation. There's very little sound when it rotates. I mean, there is some, but it's very light or very quiet. I don't think it's going to be, you know, a big deal. You can start and stop that rotation with the remote. Now, here's what they call the scan feature. This is auto scan, where it'll go back and forth. And again, you can stop this anytime you want. And then here is a clockwise rotation. They call it scan left, scan right. <clears throat> and again, all that's controlled from the remote, which is pretty nice. So now your sounds on this are in categories. And for example, on here, just to run through a few, we have, uh, oh, rodent, bird, um, let me go back to the categories here. Um, cottontail, jackrabbit, uh, baby cottontail, jack, pup fights and distress, rodent, bird, long howl, interrogation howls, challenge howls, pup howls and whines, coyote fights, breed fights, nestra sounds, serenades, raccoon sounds, cat, other sounds, crow and snow geese, Rick's favorites, cottontail, jackrabbit, and baby cottontail jack and then it cycles through the folders again. So one thing I will say about this call, it is loud. You have, um, you can actually control the gain, can control the gain through the remote which controls how much power goes to the amplifier. So you can actually uh, send less power to the amplifier and keep your sounds you know, a little bit quieter if you want. But even on you know, with the gain lower, it's still plenty, plenty loud. So, <coughs> I'll show you a couple of the sounds. Let's just do a rodent sound. Um, this one here is, uh, let's do stinky rat for you. I'm going to rotate the collar around so it faces us. <coughs> OK, 
Okay, now that's on a volume of four. <clears throat> the volume goes up, I believe it's 32. This sucker is loud. The tweeter gives it really nice high-end tones for these high-pitched sounds. I really like that. Um, I like the volume on it. <clears throat> volume 10 so you can have that volume going and have the call rotating so it spreads that direction spreads the direction of that sound around all over I'm really anxious to play around with that feature of it <clears throat> uh, there's been a lot of good reports on the sound library that Rick is provided on this caller so I'm really anxious to see you know play these in the field see what kind of responses we get see the activity we get I know uh, <clears throat> Chris Yazzi uh, used to be Siazzi Extreme he's been using it been pretty impressed with it uh, Rusty Gamble's recently been trying one um, he's been having really good luck with it as well so now that I have one I'm pretty anxious to get it out in the field as well the stand folds up. Those legs fold together. You just pull that out as such. Again, this is just uh, held in there by a magnet. Goes back in easy enough. The call itself takes 10 AA batteries. The remote takes 3 AA batteries. Um, Obviously field time will tell me how long those batteries will last. It probably depends on how many features you use, obviously. Uh, constant rotation, constant decoy, you're probably going to burn through batteries faster. I would assume with a lithium ion battery, you can probably you know, get better life out of it. Uh, Lucky Duck does sell a, a rechargeable battery pack for this unit. You can just plug it into the recharge port, which is on the back here. Open this up right here, and you have an auxiliary port, external speaker port, charger port, and your SD card slot. It comes with an SD card, so if you wanted to add sounds to this, um, other than what comes from it, um, and obviously we, we really do like Tony Tebby sounds here, pop the card out, put it into a card reader, put the sounds on it, you should be ready to rock and roll with it.
got to see all these crows. <laughs> this is more crows than I've seen around my place in a while. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even see all of them there on the screen, but there's a bunch of them here. Definitely have to be putting these close on to use here soon. <laughs>